What's going on guys? Thanks for coming and checking out the video. This is part two of a four part uh, video series I'm doing on this 2020 Colorado. Uh, part one, I put the Bison front grill in. Showed you how to do that super fast without doing any damage to the front bumper. It's a real quick video. Check that out. There'll be a thumbnail right up here for that. Well, part two, I'm doing factory fender flares. Throw these on real fast, show you how to do it. I actually work in a dealership. So um, I can tell you exactly how to do this the correct way without damaging the truck at all. Exactly what tools you're gonna need. Uh, part three, we're gonna do the sports bar. So uh, hit the subscribe button so you can see when I post this video here. And part four, we're gonna throw some aftermarket wheels and tires on it. And I'm gonna show you how to ceramic coat everything I do to this truck. So look for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump on this real quick. Okay, so the factory fender flares, pretty simple to install. Let's we'll start with the back here. Now the kit, it comes with some adhesion promoter for the plastic and some alcohol swabs to clean off the paint. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. It comes with new screws also. Uh, the instructions say pretty much to replace all the screws that are, you know, holding on like the mud flaps, stuff like that with these. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because uh, I'll show you why in a minute. But what we're gonna do first is use this plastic adhesive promoter. And we're gonna put it on around here this is where some double-sided tape is gonna go i'm gonna do it on both sides okay so i've got this adhesion promoter with the plastic and put this try not to get this on the paint but i'm gonna just swipe it right here it doesn't take much the screw is going right here also so it doesn't really matter all that much okay so grab one of these alcohol wipes what i'm gonna do is prep it and we're gonna clean off right where this body line is the truck is pretty clean so it's not gonna take much with this truck to get it clean I'm gonna go do the front one also so what you have with the flares is you have double sided tape and it's got to be absolutely clean for it to stick All right, so as far as tools go, all you're gonna need is a Torx T15. I got on an electric ratchet, which is gonna make things really, really fast. And a drill bit. This is a quarter inch drill bit. Okay, so you're gonna have to drill two holes in the back, no holes in the front. And if you have some touch up paint, it would be good, or you can use a little bit of grease. I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna remove these guys here. You can see right here. This one. Get the flare. So look at the flare. It's got bolt hole, bolt hole. It's two at the top. And there's this one here. Okay, so you can see how the bolt holes are a little bit different. This one's slotted. This one's not really. And this one, that one is a little bit. This one's not at all. And these are not at all. Okay. the factory bolts back in it right here and the instructions and uh, the GM instructions want you to use these new bolts but back here we use the old ones and I'll tell you why in a second here's the new bolt okay and here's the old bolt and the GM wants you to use these for some reason and not these uh, I like using these especially with the slotted slotted ones because uh, if you tighten it up, the head will actually go into the hole and you kind of lose, the, it's like clamping power. I don't know why they want you to use those, but um, with the hole like this, this is gonna be just fine. Just get the flare where you want it. Okay, so it has these pieces of tape. Make sure these pieces of tape are hanging out, okay? The new bolt man. And I'm gonna tighten it down but not tighten it all the way. Okay. 
kind of got it where I want it. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to drill some new holes for these two. Drill some holes for these two guys here. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to push, flare on, and drill some quarter inch holes right here. For that, we're gonna go and use these speed clips right where we drilled the holes. Holes drill. I'm gonna loosen that guy up and take this one out all the way. And loosen that one up where I can pull this back. Pull it back a little bit. You see, you got the holes. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in there. You use touch up paint, but I'm just gonna try to prevent it from rusting. Okay, I don't have any touch up paint. Just gonna have to use some grease. Right there. All right. Get your speed clip. And just push it over the hole. Line it up. Okay. Get another one. Over the hole. Okay. We'll push it. We'll put those new screws in there. Alright, so down here you're gonna have to drill a hole also. We're gonna end up pushing this guy up and just popping a hole right here. It's just kind of where you want it and just drill the hole. Okay. Get your new screw. Pop it in there. And get your speed clip and put it behind it. Okay, I just want to get it started. I don't want to tighten it yet. Pull off the tape. Make sure the tape doesn't break. So the tape only goes this far. Okay, and then we're gonna pull the tape off all the way around the fender flare and then tighten all the bolts. Up too much, that little screw head makes it really dig its way through the hole. That's why I like these factory ones. And I just I stick the tape. And then tighten up the back one. So the back one, you can see the speed clip in the back of there. All I'm gonna do is just tighten it up. So that's it for the back one. I'm gonna do the front one. <clears throat> All right, so the front's super easy. Just gonna remove this guy, this guy, one here. There's one up here, one here, one here. You're gonna leave the middle one. All right, so you get your flare. Stick it under. I come up with it. And do that. You gotta make sure that the tape is popping out. Okay. We're gonna put some of this 
screws back in. And that's it. Now the instructions say to use these, these guys, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna use the factory ones because they have the bigger washers. Tape hanging out, it's a little loose, sort of. Pull the tape off. Well, the fender flares are on. The truck looks pretty darn good. Pretty happy with it. Uh, the front was super duper easy. Went ahead and installed some decals on the emblem. Looks pretty good. And the back one came out pretty good also. Hopefully the video wasn't too boring. You can see everything. This is a really easy install. I know the install might get a little bit more difficult. If you have the mud flap there, you might have to do a little bit of trimming. But it's probably not very hard. Got the sports bar on it also. This looks pretty cool, it's pretty tough. Need to get some lights for it. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave uh, down in the description box um, some links for, you know, the bison grill, fender flares, some decals, everything on the truck so far, and some of the tools that I use in this video. Hope it really, really helped you out. And if it did, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Really do appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment box down below. You guys enjoy your weekend. Take care. Most important, be safe. Have a great weekend.